Hi everyone and welcome to this 30 minute yin class. We're using two blocks and a bolster today so please have those handy or any object that you might have around your home that you could use like that. Then let's settle to a comfortable seated position. Close the eyes. Bring your hands together and we'll initiate the space with the sound and the vibration Om, a long deep breath in. As you exhale, let's rest the hands down. Begin with a few moments of mindfulness to enter the meditative space. Be aware of the breath moving in, the breath moving out. Be aware of the connection between mind and body so that the awareness of every sensation in the body is held within the field of the mind. And for this practice today, let's practice awareness without any judgment so that we're aware of the reality of what is, but no judgment, just the experience of what is as it is. Let's allow one more long, deep breath in and a long, deep breath out. And as you exhale, softly open the eyes. That's nice. Let's start off on the hands and knees. So you'll just slowly find the way onto the hands and knees. And let's take the hands shoulder width apart and the knees hips width apart. I'd like you to just say hello to the hips and kind of give a little gentle rock to one side. Another gentle rock to the other side. We'll do that one more time. Rock into the hip to one side. Rock into the hip to the other side. Back to the center. Then let's separate the knees just a little bit more. Walk your hands forward. We're going to come into puppy pose. So as you exhale, sink back and down and reach the top of the head gently towards the ground or the top of the hairline. And then we'll just settle here. Feel welcome to adapt the pose. For example, if the body cannot find rest here, you can rest the body on the bolster. Or if you feel comfortable, you could even come up onto the fingertips or change the head position. We'll be here just to settle in, so feel the chest releasing, shoulders releasing. Some of you might feel that it feels nicer to place the chest on the ground, but no forcefulness there. With every breath, allow yourself to sink a little bit deeper down. Feel the length of the breath in, the length of the breath out. Let the muscles of the lower abdomen draw gently in, but no forcefulness. Let your nervous system dial itself down. Whatever sensations are present in the body, awareness without judgment. Let the sensations build. We'll be here for five more breaths. Maybe four more breaths. Three more breaths. Two. 
two more breaths. And the last breath. Slowly as you inhale, come forward onto your elbows. And then let's shift forward down into cobra pose. You can just kind of hang out in cobra for a moment. If you had the head down, it might feel nice to just kind of roll your shoulders forward and just perch the chin up for a moment. Have a light, easy counter stretch. And walk the elbows a little forward and just rest the chin on the hands. We'll stay there just for a moment, letting the front body release, not as long as we held the puppy pose for just a few more breaths as a light counter stretch, feeling the bones of the body kind of release and open. Two more breaths here. And then the last breath. Release the head, drop it gently down for a moment. And walk the hands back and as you inhale, slowly come back up onto the hands and knees. Now we'll prepare for the pigeon pose. Let's inhale and draw the right knee forward. There's a few different ways to work on pigeon. So you can keep the knee close and if you have any knee issues or the hip feels a little tight, we want to keep the knee relatively close. If you're working on half lotus position, this is the place to work your pigeon. If half lotus is accessible for you and your hip feels good, you can spiral open and then point the knee out to the side, keeping more openness around the knee and the hip. And then as you exhale, we'll pivot down. So if you feel that creates any pressure on the knee, we want to revert back to the closed knee position. Now after you settle, you're welcome to take the bolster out in front or the block. If you're comfortable as you are, then just exhale. Let's come all the way down, close the eyes, and let's settle in deeply. Quiet the mind and enter into a soft and meditative space. Feel the breath moving in, the breath moving out. Observe the sensations in the body. What is building, what is releasing, what is opening. If the sensations are very intense, feel welcome to deepen the breath. But if you're comfortable, feel welcome to let the breath be just natural, almost as though the body seems to be relaxing and the mind opening, drifting off to the border of wakefulness and sleep. That feeling like we're just about to fall asleep And stay for a little bit longer.
And we'll be here for five more breaths. So we might want to deepen these last five breaths. Feeling the length of inhalation and length of exhalation extend. Four more breaths. Dropping deeper down. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. And the last breath. On the next breath in, gently inhale, coming up onto your elbows, finding the center line again. And as you inhale, gently push yourself up and slide back. Closing the right knee if it's open, and then pushing yourself back up onto the hands and knees. Just do a little rock from the hip from one side to the other side. One more time, just easy. Letting the joint move. That's good. Back to the center, and then we'll switch the sides. So let's take that left knee forward. Take a moment, get down in there. All right, so it's very common for one side to be different than the other. Another thing that you can do if there's a lot of tightness in the knee is use a block and place it underneath the left hip. This will help you kind of feel a little more stable and symmetrical. So if you need to give yourself a little extra support there, that can be very beneficial. Then you can choose if you want to lean over and open the knee joint or keep it closed. Find what's better for you. And then as you exhale, Using the bolster or using your hands, let's come down onto the elbows and then slowly find the way down. That's good. Let's close the eyes and settle in. Feel the weight of the body, allowing the bones to settle. Awareness without any judgment. Allowing yourself to just take it easy with nothing to prove. Just the experience of where you are. How it is. Notice any similarities or any difference between one side and the other. Observe the sensations which are building and observe the sensations which are decreasing. All the while maintaining a quiet, calm, meditative mind.
We'll be here for just a little bit longer, so enjoy the luxury of this time. Feel that connection between breath, body, and mind. And now let yourself settle into the last five breaths. Four more breaths. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. And the last breath. On the next breath in, slowly find the way back up to the elbows. Let's exhale here. Nice. Slowly again, let's walk over and close the knee joint. As we gently come up, find the way back up to the hands and knees. And then we'll gently move lightly side to side over to one side, over to the other side, over again to one side, last time to the other side, back to the center and let's start walking slowly in. And then as you exhale, let's cross the feet, sit down, and then let's glide that bolster behind the body. We're prepared now for Supta Baddha Konasana. So we want to get that nice support of the bolster. Always takes a moment to arrange everything nicely. So after you get the bolster in place, now you can find your blocks. And then stacking the blocks up, I like it just on the outside edge of the mat. Then place the feet together and then you want to reposition the blocks so they're nicely supporting the knees. Just make sure that all the muscles around your Hips can fully release and there's no pressure on any of the ligaments that support the architecture of the knees. Then let's scoot the bolster in so you can feel it on your sacrum. All right, then pushing down on the bolster with the hands, lift the rib cage lightly up and draw the navel in. And then exhale as you settle the back down. Take a moment to kind of scoot the pelvis a little forward. And then as you exhale, let's close the eyes and turn the palms open. If there's any tension or pressure in the feet, release. So that means that it's okay if the heels separate a little bit. It's okay if the feet kind of touch or don't touch, or even slide a little away from the hips. As much as possible, let go of any effort. Close the eyes and let the body feel completely supported. Let the bones of the body settle. Let the mind settle. Observe without any judgment, awareness as a pure field. Observe the sensations which are increasing and observe the sensations which are decreasing. Observe the places of tightness. Observe the places of release. 
Observe the mind and the quality of the mind. Observe the breath. Maintaining awareness of the breath. Awareness without any judgment. Allowing the mind to soften, allowing the body to soften, allowing all the hard edges to melt away. while at the same time maintaining that thread of awareness. So never escaping or zoning out, but at the same time entering into the deep space of relaxation, increasing awareness of breath, body and mind so that we remain fully present, fully aware, and yet deeply relaxed, deeply open, and deeply free. We'll stay for just a little bit longer. So allow yourself the luxury of this time to release, this time to let go.
slowly will prepare to begin to move soon. So perhaps allow the breath to be just a little bit deeper. And then bring the awareness to small movements through the fingers and the toes. Feel the hips and their contact with the ground. On the next breath in, then press gently into the elbows and activate the feet. Let's walk the feet a little bit apart and point the knees up and off of the bolster. Then gently press into the elbows, taking the hands down and as the hands come down, let's lift the body up. Reach behind you and slide the bolster away. Let's move the blocks also over to the side. Keep the feet about hips width apart and then exhale, roll the spine right down. Drop the knees towards each other and let the hands rest on the torso. There can be a quite interesting sensation around the torso after Supta Baddha Konasana. So observe the changing sensations without any judgment, with just awareness and equanimity. Let the mind settle, let the body settle. And then slowly as you exhale, separate the knees and the hands, extend the legs, and let's lie down for a complete rest. If you're more comfortable underneath a blanket, feel welcome to cover yourself up. If you'd rather have the bolster underneath the knees, that's a nice support to try sometimes. As we settle in for the rest, just let everything go. And if you notice yourself almost dozing off like you're about to fall asleep, then let yourself sleep for a few moments.
gently begin bringing your attention back to your breath. Notice the feeling of inhalation and exhalation. Gently bring the attention back to the body, observing the sensations in the body. Observe the quality of the mind and the emotions and observe the shift in the inner atmosphere. As we're here in this space of practice, let there be a seed of thanksgiving, of gratefulness that we may receive this gift, the gift of the practice. And let us make the commitment to share that by bringing the goodness that's within our hearts out into every moment of our lives. On the next breath in, let's bring awareness to the fingers, toes, and the hands and feet, some small movements and little circles that will reawaken the body. Find the way through perhaps a light stretch bringing the hands above the head and stretching through the legs, bending one knee and the other knee until both knees find their way up into the chest. Giving yourself a little squeeze in. And then as you exhale, we'll roll over onto the side. Keeping the body a little bit heavy, let's inhale and find the way back up to a comfortable seated position. Close the eyes. Settle again for a moment. And gently bring the hands in prayer position. (coughs) A long deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. May it be happy, may it be peaceful, may it be filled with love.